Johnny. I'm coming to do a update, pregnancy update. I am officially 24 weeks pregnant. Happy viability to me. Um, I have reached viability, thank goodness. So I'm really happy to and relieved to be at this point. Um, again, I'm 24 weeks. I can't believe I'm 24 weeks pregnant. <sighs> Feels surreal. Um, so baby is 8.5 inches and in, in weighing 1.5 pounds or one and a half pounds. I'm like wow i can feel it <laughs> i can feel how heavy the baby is because honestly i'm a little bit i think that my stomach is a little big for the weeks that i'm at but baby's measuring normal so um uh the baby's 1.5 inches or 1.5 pounds so i'm happy about that um baby is the size of a ear of corn which is like, I guess it's pretty long. It's, it's big. Um, let's see what else is going on. So, um, I haven't came on since my 20 week update and I know it's been a while. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Um, so since 20 weeks, 20 weeks till now, which is four weeks, the last four weeks have been pretty much uneventful. I haven't really had anything going on. I did take two trips to the labor and delivery, which I'll tell you about in a little bit, but I had a few trips to labor and delivery because of pain. Um, no uh, discharge or bleeding or anything of that sort. I just was having severe back pain and like uh, my tendons were stretching and it hurt really bad so because I'm high risk they told me to come in um what else did happen between weeks 20 and 24 I remember uh just being like really fatigued so I'll just go straight into symptoms um I'm really tired all the time extremely that's why I haven't been really uploading I made a list like a plan that I wanted to do and it included making the pregnancy updates and going and um, doing like the pre-seed review and the overtail review the ferning kit that I have and all this jazz but I just have not had the energy to do it like at all um what other stuff uh I've been getting motion sickness a lot, like riding in cars makes me sick. Um, like I live in Oceanside, which is North County, San Diego, and oh my goodness, y'all. Just to go down to city of San Diego, it's only like 30 miles away, and I'm st I hate riding down there. And it's sad because my doctor is in the city of San Diego, and <laughs> I hate riding down there. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Because by the time I get there, I'm miserable. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, I've been forgetting a lot of stuff. I've been having like pregnancy brain. Like I'll walk into a room and I will forget where the heck I'm at. What I was doing. Like I know where I'm at, but I'm like, what did I come in here for? <laughs> so I'm having a lot of pregnancy brain. I forget names easily now um just like the typical symptoms of pregnancy brain not for remembering what you were going to do or why you came into a room or I'm still popping frog squats when I drop something at this point though if Miguel's around I just ask him to get it for me <laughs> but I'm popping like frog squats <laughs> when I need to pick something up off the ground if I even decide to pick it up my stomach is definitely in the way um, my belly button is starting to protrude a little bit. It was flat, but now it's starting to point. Like it's starting to get, it's still flat, but it has a little lift to it. Um, you can definitely see my belly button through my shirt now. Um, I've gained 14 pounds since pregnancy. Um, since uh, I found out I was pregnant. So I'm in the halfway mark. I think that they want you to gain like 30 pounds. So, I don't think I'm doing that bad. Um, so, I've only gained 14 pounds and I still have 17 or 16 weeks to go. So, hopefully I don't gain too much more. Hopefully it's just baby weight that I'm gaining. Because I was telling my husband, I'm like, 
I'm gonna have to lose a lot of weight after this baby. Like, who's gonna help me lose this weight after baby? Um, because uh, I'm planning on losing at least 50 pounds because I was already overweight before baby. So I'm planning to lose at least 50 pounds after baby. Um, what other symptoms am I having? Okay, so I'm having side pain. Like, I think it's just because of the stretching, my stomach's growing, I'm having a lot of side pain. Like, I feel like I'm being pulled, like both sides are being just pulled. Um, it feels really tight all the time, like I'm really uncomfortable when I'm trying to sleep. Um, I'm having like insane back pain, which sucks, um, but it's a typical pregnancy symptom. Um, I was having nosebleeds, but I have stopped having nosebleeds. Um, still vomiting a little bit, like randomly I'll vomit if I don't, if I eat something that just didn't sit well with me, I'll vomit, um, but it's not like as bad as it was in the first trimester. Uh, <clears throat> um, so let me tell you guys about my labor and delivery. The last one, which was two days ago. Um... I woke up at like 11 o'clock in the morning, which is late, because I wasn't sleeping that night. And I woke up because the baby, like I told you guys last time, baby is confused. It's having parties in my belly at night and <laughs> sleeping all day. <laughs> um, so I woke up at 11. around. Well, I was in bed around 11. I think I woke up around 10 something. And... I felt like, I, I know what Braxton Hicks felt like. Bra like, I felt the Braxton Hicks, but it started feeling like a band was around my stomach. And that kind of scared me. And I was having contractions between, it started off at like 7 minutes, 7 to 12 minutes apart. And then it went up to about 10 minutes to 12 minutes apart. And I called my doctor and she told me to come in which I did and when I got there I had measurable contractions the um, OB that was there said that I had full I was having full-blown contractions and they mop put me on the monitor and they checked baby baby was fine um, heartbeat was at 151 um, they did an ultrasound on me to see if there was any like issues with the placenta and there wasn't and then they did the the jizz down there the look around down there and they checked my cervix um cervix was high closed and hard is what they said what she said and um they did the little cultures they swiped to make sure i didn't have any vaginal infection and they what else did they do did a ua did a urinalysis on me to make sure that i wasn't having like some type of urinary tract infection because that can be painful and that also can make me contract um but everything came back clear but i was still having contractions so they gave me steroid they started iv gave me steroid just in case baby was coming and they monitored me a little bit longer and then they gave me flexoril and they gave me Benadryl and all of those medicines together made me like I felt like I was on crack y'all I literally I don't know I've never tried it before but that mess had me like a girl I'm telling you like I was like antsy I was like I, I don't know what that stuff did it just made me feel horrible before the Benadryl before they gave me the Benadryl I literally felt like I was coming off of something like I literally felt like I was coming off of something and and I'm talking about something that like a drug like type situation I was like I couldn't stop moving my stomach was really upset I was just like really anxious my heart rate started going up I, it was bad and they gave me Benadryl and that mess knocked me out <laughs> um but then after that, they monitored me a little bit more, and then um, they sent me home. My mom was there with me. 
my husband stayed behind because of my son um with me and my son was there for everything and we just didn't want that anymore so he stayed home with miguel and what else happened so i came home and then i took flexoril they had me on a flexoril whenever i'm contracting flexoril is a muscle relaxer so i was taking flexoril and benadryl to help with the flexoril side effects yeah that's the labor and delivery issue i had two days ago but baby's fine moving right now um but girl that mess had me scared i was like well, I'm a cr I like cracked out on something. What did you guys give me? It was so funny at the time because I was like, what the heck is this? This isn't right. Something's wrong. <laughs> um, what else I need to tell you guys? So, oh, okay. So I had a follow up appointment yesterday with my, my OB, my primary OB. And she wouldn't give me bed rest. Like, I was so upset she wouldn't give me bed rest. I want bed rest really bad. And she explained to me that I was having unproductive contractions, which means that baby's not progressing, like my contractions weren't progressing and they weren't making me dilate, which I'm not wishing for dilation. I want baby to stay up there as long as possible, but man, I'm tired. I don't want to work no more. <laughs> if you, <laughs> I think my job knows I don't want to work anymore. Everybody knows I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> So, um, but I want to keep my job, so I'm not going to quit or something, but the doctor said no go on the bed rest, and I was just like, why can't you give me bed rest, lady? <laughs> she just had me so upset. <laughs> but, um, she said she'll revisit it, but for now, it's a no, because I'm fine, baby's fine, which is good. <laughs> I'm just being lazy so oh I want to tell you guys what we're doing for the holidays so we're doing absolutely nothing <laughs> we're gonna stay at home we did have plans for New Year's Eve but they were canceled so we're gonna stay home and hang out at the house I do have to work on both days unfortunately Christmas and New Year's so I'm gonna have to stay we're staying home we're just gonna open the presents here but we are going to go to like a Christmas party one of my husband's sister my sister-in-law is having a Christmas party so we're going to go to her house for a Christmas party but then we're coming back home and Miguel and everyone Miguel my mom me and Richard my husband we're gonna open the gifts here open our presents here and then I'm gonna have to go to work <laughs> um what are you guys doing for Christmas and the holidays? New Year's, we're just going to stay home. Probably drink some apple cider or some sparkler. Some sparkling wine. Something that I can actually drink. It's like sparkling cider, I think it's called. But um, We're going to have New Year's because it's a tradition for us to stay at home for New Year's. We clean the day before and then we hang out until New Year's together. And then everybody goes to bed because we're all old. <laughs> um... And, oh yeah, the gender reveal is, it was postponed because we didn't get the decorations in on time. So, but we have everything. Only thing we're waiting on now is the invitations, which I think from based off of Amazon, it said that they're going to be de delivered tomorrow. So we'll have the invitations and we're going to mail those out. And yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I know this is going to probably be like a 10, 12 minute video. Sorry. But I had a lot to tell you guys. But I'm at viability, thank God. We only have 16 weeks left. Um, I just found out somebody got a BFP. I don't know who it was. Okay, I'll put it somewhere in here. Happy BFP. Congratulations. Somebody got a BFP. I cannot remember for the life of... Um, pregnancy brain I cannot remember for the life of me who just got a BFP I'm hoping for Miss V to get her BFP too soon I'm like stalking her asking her to test because I'm addicted to testing now I want her too <laughs> um so yeah uh that's pretty much it um I think I'll probably record one more video for the Overtail review and yeah I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you guys later. Hey ladies, here is 
my belly shot. I have pajama shorts on. I just changed shirts so I can record because I'm recording at night. This is my belly shot. <sighs> Look at I have lordosis really bad. My back is super arched. But this is my belly. Belly shot from the front. Can y'all see my belly button? It's like protruding a little bit now. And then this is from the side. Here. My belly. And from the front again. Belly shot. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>